the death of North Korea's longtime dictator, Kim Jong-il. He was revered as a godlike figure inside that isolated nation and feared and distrusted by nearly everyone outside it. This morning, South Korea's military is on alert. North Korea has test-fired a missile, raising new concerns over the future of that country's nuclear program. Celia Hatton is in Beijing this morning with more for us. Celia, good morning. Good morning. Well, the death of Kim Jong-il has put governments across Asia into crisis mode as they try to decide whether it's possible the country could collapse after the loss of its dictator. The shocked news anchor cried as she announced it. North Korea's so-called dear leader Kim Jong-il died of a sudden heart attack Saturday. The surprise death of the man who ruled over every aspect of North Korea is creating uncertainty across Asia. Kim named his son, Kim Jong-un, successor to the family dynasty last year, after it was clear he'd suffered some kind of stroke. Kim Jong-il was groomed to be a leader by his father, Kim Il-sung, but this young heir is hardly ready for prime time. I think what will likely happen is there will be a kind of caretaker leadership of Kim Jong-il's brother-in-law, a man named Chang song tae and Kim Jong-il's younger sister, who are uh, very important behind the scenes. And they're sort of be shepherding Kim Jong-un along as he gets prepared to assume real power. But this weak country's already at a breaking point. Kim Jong-il was known for living the high life, while many of his people starved. For years, North Korea's only bargaining chip, threats that Kim would ramp up his illicit nuclear weapons program, was used in exchange for food and fuel aid. But when the U.S. and its allies got fed up with Kim's refusal to abandon his nuclear weapons, China had to step in with the vast majority of North Korean aid. But even Chinese leaders were reportedly at the end of their rope with the eccentric Mr. Kim, who spent billions on elaborate plans for a 100th birthday celebration in 2012 honoring his father. North Korea, it was promised, would become a powerful and prosperous nation next year. That always seemed like an impossible goal, but without the almighty Kim Jong-il, North Korea seems even closer to collapse. Words emerged of a new deal between Pyongyang and Washington that was set to be announced next week. Uh, North Korea was set to give up one of its nuclear weapons programs in exchange for food aid. However, that deal might now be in jeopardy on news of Kim Jong-il's death and a missile firing. See, what has the response been inside Beijing today? Well, China's been doing everything it can to keep North Korea going. It's in China's interest to keep North Korea a strong country. Uh, China worries that if North Korea does collapse, uh, North Korean refugees could flood into China, overwhelming the country. And ultimately, it worries that a uni- unified Korea uh, that, that is friendly to South Korea and also to Washington could lead to U.S. troops leading right up to China's border, something the country does not want. CBS Cecilia Hatton in Beijing for us. Cecilia, thank you.